what we have here is factoring difference of two cubes. Its factors are the product of a linear expression which is the difference of the base of each term. For example, we have x cubed minus y cubed. So the linear, fact, uh, the linear expression or the linear factor is x minus y because in the first term, its base is x. In the second term, its base is y. So it says here the difference of the base of its term. So we have x minus y. Y. Another factor is a quadratic expression, which is the square of the base of the first term plus the product of the base of each term and the square of the base of the second term. So what we have here is It says a square of the base of the first term. So our base here is x, so we square x. Then plus the product of the base of its term. So we have here the product of the uh, two bases. Okay. Plus the square of the base of the second term so our the base in our second term is y so we have here y squared we have here the factor of x cubed minus y cubed is equal to the product of x minus y and x squared plus xy plus y squared Another example, we have your factor a cubed minus b cubed. So, here in the first term, our base is a. In the second term, our base is b. So, we get the difference of each base. Then, we multiply it to the quadratic factor so okay okay the base in a cube is a we square its base plus the product of the base the two bases plus the square of the base of the second term which is b so the factor of a cube minus b cube is equal to the product of a minus b and a squared plus a b plus b squared factor 8x cube minus 27 Okay, what we need to do is express each term as a perfect cube. So, our first term is 8x cubed. So, what we need to do is to express this in a perfect cube form. So, 8 can be written as 2 cubed. Why 2? Because when we multiply 2 to itself 3 times, the product is 8. So we have 2 cubed. Of course, x cubed is simply the cube of x. Now, since our exponents are the same, we can multiply the bases. That is because of the law of exponents for 
power of product. So we multiply 2 and x and enclose this quantity and raise to the power of 3. So this is now a perfect cube expression. So we copy. Now let's take 27. 27 can be written as 3 cube. Why 3? Because when we multiply 3 to itself 3 times, the product is 27. Okay, that's why we have here 3 cube. And then we copy the operation, subtraction. Then we have 3 cube. Now what we have here in this first term our base is 2x and here in the second term our base is 3 so following the rule we have here the first factor is the difference of the base in the first of the first term and the base of the second term so we copy 2x and 3 then subtract then the second factor it says that uh, the first term is a square of the base in the first term so we have okay 2x squared plus the product of the two bases okay so we have here 2x multiplied by 3 then plus the square of the base in the second term okay so we have 3 squared now to simplify uh, the quantity 2x minus 3 is multiplied by 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. So this is the simplified expression of second factor. Okay, so we have here now the factors of 8x cubed minus 27. Now it's your turn. Can you factor these? To answer that, you can watch related video. Thank you and I hope you have learned today.